Yo, what is up guys? Live your life. Today we're going to talk about Go Plus Float Tube. Now I first seen this on um, YouTube and we've been having horrible luck fishing, bank fishing. Where we seen this was Fisher Newbie and he went ahead and modified his float tube which we're going to go ahead and do as well. So the float tube in question that we ordered again we're always on a budget we were uh, challenged this time to try and create a way of fishing and getting on the water for under two hundred dollars so after doing some research we went with the go plus inflatable fishing tube with storage pockets a fish ruler adjustable straps and would actually hold our weight at 350 pounds as the load bearing capacity for $129.99. Now, of course, that's not with tax. Here I am unloading the box so that you can see. It actually comes with quite a bit of things that I had no clue of what was what. After reading the manual here and figuring it out, it was fairly easy. For somebody who wants to get on the water and attempt to get some fish, uh, I'm speaking California, and the lakes here, we're at 103. Uh, fishing's pretty hard but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stay quiet you can see all the items that are in here and then I'll come back to you in just a moment Now, when I first opened this, I was worried that it was not going to have the D-rings for the attachments. And I really didn't think that these pockets were going to be deep enough. I pulled out a ruler, or a measuring tape if you will, and they're 17 inches long, 6 inches tall, and about another 6 inches wide. Two compartments. These things are huge. In my fishing video that will come after this, you can actually see that we held quite a bit of items. It's kind of strange, but there is a little rear compartment that we placed our life vest and we're going to get a dry sack so we can add more equipment. Uh, upon opening the bladders, they seem real flimsy. I was kind of hesitant as to if they were going to hold weight or not. My assumption was that all the red bladders were going to be the actual two part that holds you up, but they're not. They're mixed up. One green, one red. Uh, also one green, one red for the seat. Um, but once you get your tube, depending on where you get it, again, we're on a budget. We were challenged at $200 to try and create this, and um, we did it. I'll go ahead and let you guys take a look, and I'll get back to you in just a moment. Now as I'm opening this, I actually thought that this was going to be the bladder that um, holds the tube up. And then I realized that this is the seat. So I'm just going to lay this out in a format facing away from me so that you can see exactly how this uh, holds up. These rings here are a total pain. We decided not to use them. If you put them on the bladder the way they suggest, it's very difficult to open up your valves. They bind. Uh, you can actually uh, damage your threads. Uh, there is a li not a lifetime warranty, but there is a warranty on this. So we opted to remove them. Again, just for the simple reason, after we added them, we were having issues with our valves, uh, opening them and closing them. Uh, and you'll actually see that also. So here's where we encountered the problem. I didn't actually show you the binding and unbinding. It just took too much time, but we just removed them and solved the problem. It just was a lot easier. And again, we're going to go ahead and contact the company and try and get more bladders just in case. 
uh, me and my friends uh, were a little bit robust, uh, about the 300 pound plus mark. So, um, yeah, we'll be contacting them soon. So here you can see the bladders fit very well. Just tuck and roll. Make sure you don't pinch the zippers. We tossed those. They just didn't work for us. Uh, in the background you can see our cat. She is a rescue. We found her uh, four years ago on the day that we were supposed to vote. And she was in a tied up trash bag. So she's our rescue. Uh, she runs the house. We do have a pit bull. Pit bull is actually scared of her. I didn't want her around here, so I set the box up so that she could actually um, be in her element. The seat is wide enough for my uh, robustness. The back support was surprisingly perfect. Uh, no slipping, no falling. This, this was great. Uh, you'll actually get to see the videos um, a little bit later on. my first attempt at folding it I really didn't know what I was doing I really just wanted to get through and uh, set this up I'm, I'm gonna just preface this that I was very surprised at how well this handled very surprised at the materials the float tubes themselves the vinyl um, really worked out well So we're in the build phase now again. We're challenged at $200 to try and make something out of nothing. I'm going to breeze through this as quickly as possible just so you guys um, can get it. In Down below you actually get the full list of what was all included. Um, I'll give you the list first and then we'll go from there. So for our list there was two flow tubes, two 10 foot by one and a half ABS, eight sanitary T fittings, eight 90 degree long elbow fittings, eight 45 degree long elbow fittings, four Y fittings, not the sanitary T, two uh, 10 feet PVC pipe, which I think I said earlier, but we actually needed more and we wanted to make sure for other projects that we had extra. Five inch sections uh, was the first cuts um, and that was six of them. Four three inch sections, four one and three quarter inch sections, uh, four plugs, and uh, we actually had to go get more plugs. That's for camera mounts, 16 stainless steel eye bolts, four adjustable bungee cords from Harbor Freight, two seven inch PVC pipe and cap. Um, we also needed the um, four three way PVC pipe for rod holders and net and plier holders, two boxes from Costco for the float tube table and eight Velcro lashings at four inches long. That was just gonna help us keep our poles in correctly. Now, here I'm just going through this super quick. The tools in themselves that we used, a ratchet, um, a pair of channel locks, drill, and any saw would work as long as you take your time. Again, the ABS glue, we just glued everything together quickly. We both worked uh, in unison to make sure that we could get this finished in time. I'll go ahead and let you uh, see the rest here. We also try to hide the ugly side of the ABS that has a few like um, molding errors. Uh, so that they were against the float tube itself. We haven't painted this. I don't think we are going to paint it. We'll just keep it as is. The weight on this was pretty heavy after the fact that we had the uh, ABS attached to the tube itself. Um, but very manageable. Again, a uh, couple of bottles of water, some Gatorade, 
a sandwich from Subway and our tackle. Here's the finished product. Again, it was a little heavy, but um, this was well worth our money, uh, in my mind. Again, I'll go and leave the list uh, in the description box so that you guys can see, and if you want to build one. Yeah, we're not the uh, creators of this uh, idea or this concept. There was a gentleman that we copied, and that was Fisher Newbie. Go check him out. Uh, great ideas. I appreciate him for creating this because otherwise we would not be able to do this and enjoy ourselves on the water. So again, go check him out. Give him a thumbs up. Give him a like uh, for creating this. Uh, and he actually got some pretty good content. Um, he's, he's on the rise, so keep an eye out for him. Now, again, guys, I appreciate your time. I'm going to let you continue watching this. And then at the end, I'll go and put our list and... Um, We'll go from there. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you coming here. Give me a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe. Next week, we're going to hit another lake. Try our best. Uh, I want to thank everybody who helped out. And uh, Pyramid Lake, we'll see you soon.